Okay, and we're recording. Hey guys, thank you all so much for joining me on this Sunday evening. I know it's always a sacrifice to jump on these calls, but you are worth it. Investing in yourself and your business is worth it. And I just wanna say that it is not a coincidence that we are here together today. You guys, God did not put any of us here on accident. It, it's not a coincidence that you are on our team, on Team Eichenhorst, that you are with your specific upline. It's no coincidence that you jumped into Plexus on the exact date that you did. It's not an accident that you are exactly where you are in your journey on this very moment. And so today, I want you guys to embrace where you are, but I want us to walk away from our time together tonight of having gained some skills and some inspiration so that we can move forward in our businesses so that we can achieve the goals that we have set for ourselves. So you guys, God did not put any of us here to be mediocre. So what does that mean? If he has placed a dream or a possibility in your heart, then you absolutely have the means to achieve that dream. I always say, God did not put it in my heart to be a rocket scientist or a surgeon. Like, I can't dream it. That means I cannot achieve it. I don't I know. But if you're here in Plexus and you're on this call and you want to be an Emerald Ambassador, you see yourself as a diamond, if you can dream it, then you can achieve it. And he will help make a way. So he brought you into this business. And now what you do with the business is up to you. So what are you gonna do next in your business? You've got to believe in yourself and you have to believe that you can be successful. So right this very second, I want you to see yourself as a diamond ambassador. I want you to imagine what it would be like. Ask yourself the question, whose life would change if I reached that goal? your life definitely would be changed, okay? What about your kids, your spouse? How about your parents? What about your passions? What are some of your passions that you're not able to currently pursue? If you could give abundantly to a cause that is important to you, what would that be? Okay, now I want you to imagine reaching your fullest potential with Plexus so that you can change those lives. I want you to believe that you can, and then you have to make the decision, you guys, that you will. But you can't do that if you don't believe in yourself, okay? So are there gonna be obstacles? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're gonna have obstacles in this business, but what good thing in life comes easy? Okay, so I want you guys to be prepared to get out of your comfort zone. In fact, I want you to get comfortable with being outside of your comfort zone. Run, leap, jump out of your comfort zone. Just make a decision today between your dreams and your fears. And when it seems like stepping out of your comfort zone is too scary, I want you guys to hold on tight to your why. So what is your reason for pursuing and even doing this Plexus business? I want you to cling to that. And in those moments when you're questioning yourself, when you're thinking, I cannot make one more post on Facebook, or I don't, I don't wanna share Plexus with this person, or when the doubt starts to creep in and the negative self-talk is kind of beating you down, I want you to remember your reason why. The reason why you're stepping outside of the status quo to do more for your life and more for your family. And then once you guys have identified your why, I want you to go out and share it with people. When you share your reasons with others, you can become a vision caster for them. Did you know that? They'll think, okay, wow, she really believes in this opportunity. What if it worked for me too? What if I could contribute to taking the burden off of our family? You guys, when you talk to people, belief has a sound and people can hear it in your voice. And I want you to let your why be your driver for building your belief in yourself. 
I want you guys to, okay, if you are able to, if you have a piece of paper next to you, I want you to actually physically do this with me, okay? If you don't have a piece of paper, it's okay. I want you just to imagine it, visualize it, and think about me, think about where I'm going, okay? So stay with me. So if you have a piece of paper, it can be little tiny scrap pieces of paper, I want you to rip them in half. So you have two little pieces of paper, okay? Um, if You can write it on your hand if you want. But I want you guys just to think about this for a second. I want you to let yourself be really vulnerable. On one of the pieces of paper, I want you to write your biggest why for doing this business. What is your biggest reason, your biggest driver? What is your passion for doing this business? And I want you to put it right here. Like, get out of debt, uh, pay for my kid's college fund, uh, so my husband can quit his second job, so we can buy organic food for our family, financial freedom, less stress. Like, what is your why? I want you to think about it. And I want you to, if you can physically write it down, write it down, okay? On the other, piece of paper, I want you to think about the number one thing that is holding you back. Like what is holding you back from going all in with this business for, or from achieving your why? What is it? Is it fear? Is it what others think about you? Is it a lack of belief in yourself? What is the thing that is holding you back? Okay, so you should have on one side your why and on one side the thing that is holding you back. And I want you to hold up the pieces of paper on either side of your face, kind of like I'm doing right now with my hands. Okay, one on your left and one on your right. And I want you to turn and I want you to look at your why. Does that why give you energy? Does it light a fire in your belly? Does it make your heart beat a little bit faster? Does it bring tears to your eyes? Okay, so now I want you to turn and I want you to look at your biggest excuse. Does it just make you feel defeated, overcome, weak? Which one gives you more energy? Does your biggest excuse drain you of your energy? Do you feel like you're paralyzed when you think about it? And do you even remember what's on this other piece of paper, right? You guys, the point is what we choose to focus on. Where you put your energy will either fuel you or it will shut you down. I want you to look at your why and I want you to let that fuel you. Get out of your comfort zone. Your why is worth it. And I want you to look at that fear or whatever it is that's holding you back. And I don't want you to be thinking about that every day and focusing on that every day because that is going to paralyze you. And here's the thing, you guys. Everyone has excuses and fears. And in Plexus, we get taught how to move through them instead of having our life just fly past us. And that's why personal growth and development and working on ourselves to develop the skills and belief in ourselves is so key. So that you don't fall into the majority, which is people that are stuck and frozen by their excuses. And how awesome to be a part of a community of men and women that value not only helping others, helping others achieve their growth and reach their truest potential, but helping ourselves become better, stronger people. So I want you guys to decide that you're gonna cling to that why and let nothing stop you from achieving it. And when you do that, you guys, you're gonna stand a little bit taller, and that's good, because people are gonna buy into you before they buy into the products, and before they buy into this opportunity. And if you have to, pretend like you're a diamond ambassador and you're making a six-figure income with a huge business when you're talking to people. Be confident and decide today that you are done questioning yourself. I want you to change your mindset from, I don't know if I believe that I can do this, to I believe in myself and I know that I can do this. 
And then I want you to make that decision every single day because that's what it takes is waking up and making the decision every single day, every single day until you see your why come into fruition. Okay, I want you guys to fall in love with your plexus journey too. And I want you to be content with what you have while you pursue what you want. Comparison can lead to a low self-esteem really fast. You guys, you cannot look to the left and right. Maybe things feel a little bit slower for you. Do not let other people's success determine what your journey looks like because everyone's is going to look different. We all have a different set of circumstances and a different set of skills. You know, one of my friends was teaching and raising her five kids as she built her business to Emerald. Others are working this business with no job and no kids. So you can't compare the two. It's not apples to apples. You can't take and look at the pace of one business and compare it to another because you are living your life in your circumstances as you build and grow. So this is your business and it's your journey and God has a plan for you. So trust in him and his plan for you because frustration will block you from your goals. And frustration is really that gap between what we're experiencing currently in our business right now and what we're expecting. So learn to be patient and we've got to get our expectations in line with reality. Now, listen carefully to this because understanding this is so key to success in this industry and in this business. So many of us expect too little in the long run and so many of us expect too much in the short run. So I'm gonna say that again. So many of us ex expect too little in the long run. You guys, we are building a team and a network that can potentially pay us a residual income for years to come. And we expect too much in the short run. Like it doesn't happen overnight, you guys. So enjoy your journey, believe in yourself, and you are gonna get there and you're gonna be able to reach your goals. You guys, Amanda McMaster is our team's newest Emerald. And what I achieved in seven months took her four years, four years. If Amanda was here with me and I asked her, Amanda, you know, what, what if she would have compared herself to my journey? No, no. But if I asked her, was it, was it worth it for you to invest in personal development and your team and to help change people's lives along the way to help people get healthy, to gain health yourself? I mean, none of us are the same people that we were when we first started this journey. If I asked her if she felt like it was worth it, she would say yes. You guys, we're a part of the opportunity of a lifetime. And people buy into you before they buy into our products or this opportunity. So we've got to work on believing in ourselves, okay? We also have to believe in Plexus. And Plexus makes it easy for people to see and experience success. I don't know any other company that you can come into and see immediate income like you can in Plexus. Other companies might have a compensation plan where you can make a lot of money on the front end, but you're continually spending money to make money. You know, we have the right products at the right time. People are overweight, in chronic pain, and struggling with their health, and we have something that can help them. And y'all, this opportunity, I mean, this is what I know. And I've been saying this since I first joined this company. I know that there are just as many people going to bed worried about how they're gonna pay, out of the, pay their bills, get out of debt, put their kids in college, save for retirement, help their aging parents. Uh, there are people worried and concerned about their finances. There are just as many people out there stressed out about their finances as there are people out there that are dealing with some serious health struggles or people that just wanna lose some weight. And it's our job to connect with them and share this business with them so that they can receive a message of hope. And you guys, the thing that I love about this business is everybody, literally everybody that we meet can benefit from Plexus. You guys, everyone that we meet can benefit from a, a probiotic or a prebiotic or an omega or a multivitamin, um, balancing their blood sugars, 
we have products that truly are for everybody, but we're not just looking for sick people. Who do you know that is in CrossFit? Who do you know that values health, that takes their nutrition seriously? Because our products, this lifestyle, this company, this business really falls into alignment with them and what they're already doing as well. So we're looking for healthy people, sick people, um, people struggling with their finances, people that want to use finances to help other people. So many have, so many need what we have to offer. Okay. So when you guys share with people, I want you to be thinking about that. And I want you to change your mindset from thinking that you are doing something to someone, right? Like I'm bothering my Facebook friends by posting or I'm annoying my network by sharing Plexus. Stop thinking that you're doing something to them and start thinking you're doing something for them. If you think you're bothering people, I need you to examine yourself and where your disbelief is. Examine your passion for our products and opportunity because you have in your hand a chance to change people's quality of life. So I know that you know people out there that need this opportunity and our products. And Plexus is such a gift. But if you are doubting yourself or this company, then others will too. So make sure that your belief is strong in yourself and in Plexus. And then third, make sure your belief is strong in network marketing. And the cool thing about network marketing is that it totally levels the playing field. Y'all, I was a school teacher, and at school there was one principal in the building. So no matter what I did or how hard I worked, I was never going to be the principal. Um, now, I could have gone back to school, spent more money, more time away from my family to get an additional degree, um, but for what? To go back to be a principal of a school, not much more financial gain, a lot more work than I was doing as a teacher. Um, think about your typical corporation. You guys, there's one CEO. You can climb the ladder, but only so far. And so in network marketing, age, education, um, none of that matters. And maybe you're thinking, okay, but I'm not good at sales. I'm not a salesperson. Guess what? Great, good. <laughs> That's awesome. Turn that salesperson off anyway if you are a salesperson because nobody wants to be sold to. And network marketing and what this is, is the power of word of mouth marketing. So could Plexus put their products on a shelf in the store? Yep, they definitely could. But then they'd have to pay for marketing and advertising. And you guys, instead of that, they pay us. And they pay us really well. And that means that these products aren't put on a shelf for some apathetic, uh, you know, I don't know, teenager working at a drugstore to try to sell to people and not be, when we are sharing Plexus, we're sharing the story behind these products. We're telling about how it's changed our family and friends and how it's changed our lives. And that is just smart business, okay? So I want you guys to do what you need to do to build your belief in this industry because network marketing is legitimate. Plexus is huge. We are international already. We're in Canada and Australia, and we are going to be launching new markets globally here in the next several years. I mean, we truly are in this moment ground floor. And you guys, we are the 30th largest network marketing company globally, and we're only open in three countries. Many of those companies that are higher up on that list are open in 30 countries, 40 countries, we are open in three. And Canada and Australia, small, small percentage of ambassadors are in those countries. Really, this opportunity is so wide open. When you look at a map and when you look at the growth for Plexus, where it's at in the United States, there are still states that haven't even heard of Plexus. And so you guys, there's so much room at the top. Every single person on this call can be a diamond. Anyone can be a diamond, every single one of you. It doesn't matter where you grew up, what type of house you live in, how much money you have, how much education you have. It doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your experience. We can all go to the top with this company. 
And so to wrap up belief, I want you guys to examine yourself, figure out where that disbelief is. Um, and like I said, if you're struggling with believing in the opportunity, go read our compensation plan. You guys go watch my eight minute video that I have called the opportunity of a lifetime on my YouTube channel and check out the power of three and see what that is and then see how you can totally change your financial future by helping three people get started in this business and then having that duplicate. If you're struggling with the products and you're thinking, Do, are these products legit? Go to our team testimonial page and read the stories of people who have had their lives completely changed because of these products. You guys talk to your sponsor. Um, if you're doubting the opportunity, ask them about their paycheck. Um, look, look to see there are so many people who are seeing awesome financial success, paying for car payments, mortgages. Um, and going back to the products, if you're struggling with the product, use them. Use them consistently. Um, follow the guidelines. Work with the person that introduced you to these products, you guys. If you doubt and have disbelief with these products in this business, then others will too. Belief and disbelief have a sound. And we have an opportunity for $39.95. You guys, that is a low investment to start a business that can help each and every one of you guys attain enormous wealth. So think of the lives you could change and the people that you can help, okay? So let's talk about attitude. To attract people with excellence in your business, you've got to have a good attitude. So don't associate with the negative. Give your power to those who will raise your self-esteem, your upline, the people that believe in you and support your business, not the random stranger, not your uncle who's never tried the products or your friend from elementary school who says that the products don't work, yet they're like eating Shipley's donuts every morning and drinking Diet Coke. Like you can't give these negative people your time or energy. A good attitude can take you to the top of this company, you guys, because if you have a good attitude, then you're gonna attract people and you're gonna have good relationships. And those strong relationships will help you grow because people will trust you, okay? So in talking about attitude, and this is such an important message, I want you to stay attached to the action and not the outcome. So I remember the very first time that I ever shared on Facebook, you guys, I was so nervous and worried about what other people would think about me. Um, which is a terrible attitude to have, I, you know, especially because deep down in the bottom of my heart, I really did want to help others. Um, but I, uh, so I just remember like sweating to death and being so nervous that I put that post out there. Um, but I was focusing on the wrong thing. I was focusing on what others were going to think. And I just encourage you guys to get out there and post and share like crazy and then detach your emotions from the results as best as you can. And this is something that I committed to doing when I first started Plexus, and it was so freeing for me. And because here's the thing, you guys, if someone rejects, if, so, if you experience rejection, which if you're working this business, you will. We all experience rejection, and it's not a fun thing to experience, but you're going to. Uh, but here's what you need to know. They're not rejecting you. They're not rejecting you. They're rejecting a chance to change our health, a chance to change our finances, the opportunity to help change the lives of others. They're rejecting amazing vacations, the opportunity to drive a Lexus and be a part of an amazing team, the chance to get out of a 40 hour a week job that maybe they don't like, um, the chance to build wealth and save for retirement, the chance to have a really great lifestyle. And so when you're talking to people, your attitude should reflect these opportunities. But you guys are gonna have good days and bad days, and you're gonna have good months, and you're gonna have slow months. But really, ultimately, we're gonna give it to God, and we're gonna trust in his plan for our journey, and have a joyful heart, and an attitude of gratitude for the blessings that are coming. You know, when I was able to make the decision that I was gonna detach myself from the results and just do the work, and just share, because my heart was true, then it made, made it so much easier for me to get into activity. 
And you know, when people don't follow through or they start products and stop products, I'm okay with that. It's just my job to share. And I just stay in activity. And I feel great because the outcome isn't what is impacting my emotions. Um, and so I just encourage you guys to keep a good attitude. And when you're dipping and you feel it sliding, reach out to your sponsor so that they can help lift you back up, dig into some personal development. Okay, so let's talk about commitment. And we're going to wrap this call up in just a minute. But I want you guys to decide that you are going to be here one year from now. I want you to commit. I want you to make it a business decision. So if you went to the bank and you took out a loan to start a traditional business, you would not quit after a year or three years. You would be all in. So if it took you one full year from now to get to gold, would it be worth it? The answer is yes, it would be worth it. It absolutely would be. No matter what the ups and downs are, you guys, put your entrepreneurial hats on and make some long-term goals and quit experiencing too much too soon and then detach yourself from the outcome. Tell those around you that you're committed so that they can hold you accountable. You guys, commitment truly is what separates the doers from the dreamers. And I want you guys to take the word try and I want you to bury it. Like walk into your backyard, dig a hole, put the word try and hole and cover it up. Like this is why I tell my kids this all the time. Like stop saying try, just do it. Don't try. And I love this analogy. Would you like an anesthesiologist to say to you just before he puts you out before your surgery, I'm going to try to get you to wake up after surgery, but I'm kind of tired. I had a bad day. So I'm going to do the best that I can. Okay. So would you be like, oh yeah, sure, okay, stick that needle in my back. <laughs> or would you find a new doctor? Uh, don't say try. I want you guys to just go for it and treat Plexus like the life-changing business that it can be for you. And the first couple of weeks or months might be the hardest, just like any other business. But the only thing stopping you from a six-figure income in this business is you. So if you want to build a financial wall around your family, it is worth it. It's not easy. This business is not easy, but it is simple. And we have the systems on our team that you can plug into to see success. You just have to commit to the simple things and do them with excellence and consistency. Y'all, it's worth it to troubleshoot, to wake up 30 minutes earlier to work your business, to work during lunch, to take 30 seconds a day to post on Facebook. It's worth it to be a product of the product and to speak with conviction to others. Plexus makes it so easy for us to earn an income and for us to share with others. So I want you guys to commit so that you don't close the door to your potential. And I really like this analogy too. Did you guys know that bamboo only grows a couple of inches during the first four years? But during the fifth year, it grows 80 feet. Can you imagine? You might not get a customer or an ambassador your first year in Plexus, but don't quit before the good thing that is going to happen to you in your business happens. Okay? So I have seen amazing ambassadors come and go. I really have. I've been in this business almost six years. I've seen rock stars come and go. And they would be jewels today if they had not put such an emphasis on the when. It's like a drive from California to New York where 99% of the journey, you're not there yet. And crazy things happen on the journey, right? Good and bad. Like you're driving from California to New York and you're going to hit traffic and your kids are going to drive you crazy and you're going to go to the bathroom in disgusting restrooms and you're going to fight with your spouse and you might get pulled over. Crazy things are going to happen, but great things are going to happen too, right? You're going to have good conversation and you're going to read an awesome book and listen to some great music and spend some time in prayer and see some beautiful scenery, right? But here's the thing. No matter what, if you keep driving, you're going to get there. And the same thing is true for your Plexus business. So commitment really is that thing that separates those that are super successful in this business from those that aren't. And here's the thing. Even though I'm asking you to commit to being here one year from now, some of you won't be. 
Some of you won't be. And the reason is because it requires action. And I want to challenge you to be different and to take action. I want you to build belief in yourself, network marketing, and plexus. And if you have an attitude of abundance and gratitude, you will be willing to take the action required of you to achieve your next goal. You guys, so many people sit around waiting for something to happen to them instead of making something happen for them. So I'm going to end with this quote from the famous football coach, Lou Holtz. Okay. He wrote a book called winning every day. And this quote pertains to how we grow ourselves in our business. And it goes like this. I'm not yet what I want to be. I'm not yet what I ought to be. And I'm not yet what I'm going to be. But thank God, I'm not what I used to be. So after this call, you guys, I hope that you're not the same. Like, I hope that you've gained some belief and some excitement around yourself and this company and this opportunity. And really let today be the first day of the rest of your journey. Because this company, our team, is stronger because you guys are a part of it. And you have the potential to change your life and the lives of so many others. So I believe in you guys, and I'm so blessed to be on this road to freedom with each of you. So thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Bye, everyone.